Welcome, welcome. We're from Soup to Tomatoes. Good morning. My name is Renee and I'm starting a brand new week this week. So, so nice to see you and uh, fantastic. And we will begin with a march. So good guess. And uh, we can begin also thinking about our posture. So shoulders back, chest out. And uh, this is the basic program. So the whole thing takes place over 45 minutes. It's our more advanced program, so it is a little bit more intense and a little longer than uh, the gentle or the yoga. So um, we're talking about the pelvic muscles today. It, these are important to work in both men and women for many reasons, but uh, one of them is just to hold your urine, right? So it's not something everybody likes to talk about, but uh, I'm a nurse. So it's okay. It's okay. I can talk about these things, right? Elimination is a big part of nursing. So uh, when we think about our workout today, let's focus our muscles on making sure we're squeezing our bums and tucking our tailbone under for a lot of those movements. And that kind of brings up the pelvic floor as we pull our abs in. So thinking about marching with our abs a little bit in, our shoulders back, our chest out, feeling fantastic already. We're gonna add a shoulder stretch. So we really wanna press the palms back. Um, this morning I was reviewing some, uh, some stretching techniques and this is a stretch. As much as it is a uh, body movement, we are actually stretching, opening our chest here, squeezing our shoulder blades and then as we reach up, we're getting a nice back stretch. Yeah? Feels good already, right? Big deep breaths, keep marching. We're marching for five minutes. Yes, we are. So you might as well enjoy it. Take a few deep breaths, feel the stretch, and we'll talk about different stretches today that we just pepper through the workout. Woo! Let's feel it, reach. Now let's do the forward one. So again, we want to think about pressing those palms back, opening the chest. You should feel a stretch here. And then elbows together stretches your back. This is a beautiful stretch because you get both ends of it. You get the front and the back getting stretched. Yes. Isn't that fantastic? Uh-huh. Woo! Let's really appreciate it for one more. Good. Now I thought we would uh, give the arms a little rest for a second as we step over to the side, just marching over. And then for uh, to jazz this move up a little bit, we're going to do what's called merengue arms. So your elbows are up and you just stretch one and the other. So it doesn't have to go to the same beat as your feet. It can go whatever. And if you want to make it even more challenging, you look over. The arm that you're stretching out. Yeah, merengue arms. Do you like it? When they do the merengue, they often have their arms, I suppose, in this position. Yeah, a little faster. Woo! Good, good. Ten more seconds. Walking to the side with merengue arms. Good. Fantastic. Let's take it to front and back. So we're gonna walk forward, walk back. To make this one more interesting, we're gonna do party arms. So you're gonna bring your elbows forward, but as you step back, side to side arms or merengue arms. But because it's a combination move, I call this party arms. Party arms, huh? It's a little bit fun, right? Woo! Good. See, by adding these fun arm movements, right, makes it more intense a little bit, makes it more fun. Woo, big deep breaths. We got 10 seconds left to enjoy it. How much more can we enjoy it? Huh? You're smiling. See, some of you are having fun. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic. And I think that's just about five minutes. So we'll keep it there. So remember the pelvis, right? So let's put our hands like a diamond shape between uh, the pubic bone and the, the belly button. 
Take a big deep breath. And then as you exhale, I want to see your bum squeeze and your tailbone tuck under to bring your abdominals in. So we'll do it again. Big deep breath. Exhale. Pull the abdominals in and kind of squeeze and bring the bum under. Like, you know when a dog gets scared and they tuck their tail underneath them? That's kind of where you want to go with it. So big deep breath. Exhale. Pull the abdominals in. So when we're doing a lot of our moves, we want those abdominals pulled in, right? So let's add the chest opener. So here, we're opening our chest. See, feel that? Tilt your, your tailbone back. And then as you come in for butterfly, you're doing the opposite. You're pulling the abs in, tilting forward, just like we just did. Big deep breath, stretch. Exhale, in. Let's enjoy eight more of these. Big deep breath. You can do it seated. It looks the same. Right? Exactly the same. That's it. Good. Four more. Four more. Enjoy each one. Opening here. Pulling in here. Stretch. Come in. Crunch. Two more. Two more. And then one more. Good job. Good job. So again, that's like a good example of how an exercise can also be a stretch, right? Because we're stretching here, but we're real crunching in here. So the same applies for our side bends. So if we think about the side bend as being both a stretch and a contraction, so shoulders back, chest out, we get our alignment first. We exhale over. So that one side is stretching, one side is contracting. Inhale up. That's why it's such a beautiful exercise. And you feel it. Feel the stretch. Don't be afraid to linger in the exhale to really enjoy what happens there because it's beautiful. Inhale up. Woo! Exhale. Really press into those feet. Squeeze the bum. Remember what I said? We're going to focus on pulling the abs in. Squeezing the bum. And remember last week was about grounding our feet. So we can think about grounding the feet. Good. This feels pretty good, right? Oh, we're enjoying it. It's lovely. One more. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. So we're going to add the leg lift with it. So we begin by reaching up, up, up. Big deep breath outside leg and then we kind of like we're stretching towards that foot inhale exhale then you really get to feel that contraction right more than the stretch because that's what we're focusing on now right soften the leg you're standing on exhale over inhale tall 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 exhale over let's make each one count now Reach, 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 and then over. Big deep breath. Pull those abs in. Exhale over. That's it. One more. Good job, good job. Let's do the other side. I know, it's a good one, right? And you are getting a stretch, but it's not a side stretch. It's more of a spinal stretch. So we're our back stretch. So we're reaching up, up, up to the ceiling exhaling over and then reaching down so you really get a good contraction inhale up exhale crunch remember pull the abs in soft on the leg you're standing on nice and tall let's feel each one inhale exhale inhale exhale five more five more big deep breaths Four more. Are we feeling it or what? Three. Better if you touch, actually. Two. Okay, let's enjoy this last one. Let's enjoy it. One. Fantastic. So if we talk about just body weight exercises, let's think about toe taps. So we'll do one minute toe taps because we didn't do a whole lot last week. But we'll do them today. So nice toe taps. 
And then the first uh, set is all body weight exercises. The top four, that if you just wanted to do a workout at home, these would be the ones that you would want to do. So toe taps, marching, a couple calf presses, and then these four exercises. So try to guess what they might be. Huh? And uh, in the meantime, let's uh, do some with our arms, shall we? So let's do, um, let me think here. Maybe uh, a nice stretch for the rotator cuff. So press the palms back and then down. Good, big deep breaths. Back and then down. Oh, I like those toe taps. Back and then down. And then one more. I call this one the scarecrow. I think because the elbows remind me of the scarecrow. Good. And then calf press. So let's do a series of five. So we'll go five with both legs and down. Two. Because we have to do the opposites, right? Three. Good job, though. Good job. Four. One more. Five. Fantastic. Then one leg, either here or here, your choice. And then five on this leg. One, two, three. Very good. Four. One more. Five. Looking really, really good. Other leg when you're ready. Shoulders back, chest out, big toe up. One. Looks good. Two. Three, four, and one more, five. All right, let's do that again. Let's do that again. So five with both. One. It's good, right? Two, three, four, and one more, five, and then one leg. One, two, enjoying three, yes, nice and tall for four, Woo! five, and then other leg, and we're done with these calf presses. So lifting the big toe, remember abs in, notice the difference if you pull your abdominals in while you're doing the calf press, two, three, we can help maintain four, kind of all the ligaments and stuff inside our bodies, five. Good, by working those muscles, pulling them in towards ourselves. So think about doing that with your push-ups today. So I want you to focus your push-ups on pulling your abdominals in, keeping your bum really tightly squeezed. And if you're not sure, you should poke those cheeks and see. Make sure your hands are at chest level. Shoulders back, chest out, 10 push-ups. One, two, good job. Are we pulling our abs in? Three, big deep breaths. Woo, four, pull the abs in here. Five, six, seven. Are you still pulling your abs in and squeezing your bum? as well as breathing. Seven, eight, I'm pulling mine in. Nine, oh, some of you are getting so strong. One more, 10. When you've uh, done that, come back and take a seat and we're getting ready for squats. So either have your feet hip width apart or wider, come up and squeeze your butt. So we always have to practice doing squats because doing squats are one of the activities of daily living, right? So if you're not able to do them today, think about squeezing your bum every time we do a squat, all right? So squeeze your cheeks, whether you're seated or standing, like there's nobody's business. Squeeze them, pull the abs in. That's it. Five more. Squeeze them at the top, pull the abs in. Yes, good. Four more, like a girdle that you're 
tightening. Three more. It will protect your spine. Woo! Work all kinds of things. Squeeze. Good. Two more, two more. Squeeze. And one more. One more. All right. So, so far we have push-ups. We have narrow squat. Guess what the third one is? Wide squat. Like here. Shoulders back, chest out. And again, you want to think about not letting your back tilt forward. You tilt your hip under and try to be on top of your hips as much as possible. You see this a lot, but what we actually want is to always have our hips underneath our shoulders. So really tall in our squat. Yes, good. So shoulders back, chest out, inhale up. Exhale, come down for wherever you're comfortable, where you can pull your abs in and tuck your tail under. Inhale up. We can squeeze at the top and the bottom on this one. So it's really fun. Ooh, some of you are looking really good. Big deep breaths, nice wide legs on this one. And there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. And again. Five more, five more. Reach, reach, reach. This is a stretch. And then here, it's a bit of a stretch, but more work. Where are we feeling it? Four more, four more. I like this one, isn't it great? Two more, two more. Actually, it's three more. So now it's two more, now it's two more. Big deep breath, let's really enjoy them, knowing it's only one more now. It's only one more. Good. Fantastic. Last move that I really, really like, and I think everyone should do in practice, is guess what? Spinal balance, right? And the reason for that is for our inner glute. It does something to balance on the one leg. So, start with your inside leg flexed and lifting because that's the important thing even if you kept your hand on your hip you want this knee to be bent and this one to really feel the stretch and you can reach your opposite arm out if you like and then come back in so the idea is to stretch through the heel through the finger inhale exhale good so if you're seated right you're going to keep your foot flexed opposite arm goes up inhale reach 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 exhale and then do it again inhale through the heel through the fingers all right so let's enjoy five more to make it ten nice and tall return to your standing position soften the leg you're standing on and square the hip down. All right, three more, three more. Two more. Those are looking better. They're looking way better. And one more, one more. Good. So do you feel that one on the leg you're standing on? Yes, good, because it's a stretch too. So it's a really important stretch and it's really, really beneficial for the glute that we're standing on. So you want the inside leg, the leg next to the chair, to lift back. So the leg lifting is straight, but the leg you're standing on is slightly bent. Square the hip down and reach out through your opposite hand. And then come back up, realigning, getting tall. Shoulders back, chest out, soften the knee. Stretch, lift the heel, and square the hip and then come back up. They're all important parts of the same thing. Inhale, press that heel out actively, and then come back, right? Really press it out here. That's it, and then come back. Big deep breaths. You got it. And come back. It is, it's a bit of a balance thing as well. Yes, five more, five more. 
Are you feeling the heat from this one? Four more, four more. How much more could we feel it if we thought about inhaling and reaching, exhaling, coming back and realigning? Let's do two more just to make sure. And one more, one more. Good. Fantastic. Take a drink. We're going to add weights to our workout. So grab your weights. So again, those were the top uh, four moves that I could think of. That if I had to limit my workout to just a few exercises, those would be it. So it would be the push-up the narrow squat, the sun pose, and the spinal balance would get most of my body parts. Now, if we are thinking of exercise with weights, like a can of soup or whatnot, then we start with a chair squat, right? So you're, you're seated in a beautiful position, your shoulders are back, your abs are in, and then you can come up from the chair squat, add your hammer curl, and your front press. You know it. You know this move. Woo! All right, like nine more of those. And that'll be a set, right? Down, pressing into both feet, watching our alignment, squeezing our bumps, pulling our abs in, and holding that position as we press up. Slowly come down. Check your alignment. Make sure you're on top of your feet. That your feet, ah, oh, that's better, are hip width apart. Squeeze, come up with your bum, pull the abs in, curl, and press. Hold that abdominal contraction and the bum squeeze while you press. Yes. All right, here we go. Now we know what we're doing. Shoulders back, chest out. Pull those abs in. Press it up like you mean it. Control it down. You know what I mean. Savoring, come on, where's the savoring? Where's the savoring? Here, it's all right. Squeeze, curl, press. Put all of your attention on these weights coming down slowly. Now you know what I'm talking about. Slowly. That's, see what I mean? That's a lot more muscle action. Here we go, three more like that, three more. Squeezing our bum, pulling our abs in. We can go a little more swiftly as we press up. But as we go down, come on, it's the magic stuff right here. Yes, right here. Now you know what I'm talking about. Good. Two more like that. We're just getting it. We're just really, really getting it. So let's get excited about that. Squeeze our bums, pull our abs in, and focus. Focus all of our awareness. Come on now. It's for us. It's for our bodies. It's fantastic. Woo! Okay, one more because that was beautiful. Okay, one more. Just show everybody how it's done. Press it. Squeeze it. Curl it. Lift it. All right, control it down. This is it. Feel it? Where is it coming from? Where is that strength coming from? Woo! Those are the muscles right there. Fantastic. So we're going to do the deadlift row kickback for the next one. So we're going to come up from it every time and just do all three exercises. So we begin with our knees bent or seated. If you're seated, your weights are against your legs on the outside. But I'll show you on the next round. Exhale, come down. Once you've found your neutral spine, palms face each other. Bring them up for the row, kick it back, bring it back for the row, release it down, bring it back to the legs, come up and squeeze your bum to get a rest here. Good. Shoulders back, chest out, we come down with our chest. We row our elbows up. We kick it back for triceps. We bring it back for the row. We bring it back to our legs and we come up with our chest leading, squeezing our bums at the top. That's it. Shoulders back, chest out. Remember, neutral spine. Kick that bum out. Row it up and squeeze your rib cage. Kick it back. Bring it back. Down. Back to the legs to come up with your chest and squeeze your bum. 
Shoulders back, chest out, kick that bum back. Row and squeeze your back muscles. Kick those triceps into gear. Squeeze it. Release it. Bring it back. Squeeze it up. Pull the abs in. Five more. Down. Palms facing each other. Row up. Kick back. Bring it back. Release it down. Bring it back to the legs. Come back up. Squeeze your bum. Four more. Four more. Chest down. Row up. Kick back. Back to the row. Back down. Back up. Three more to go. Let's take it home. Shoulders back. Chest out. Feel each part of this move because each one is important. Bring it back. Bring it back down. Come up. Two more. Two more. Make sure your feet are still hip width apart. Maintain that neutral spine. Bring those elbows up and squeeze. Kick it back. Bring it back. Bring it back down. Bring it back to the legs to come back up and squeeze your bum. One more. One more. Row. Kick back. Back to row. Back down. Back in. Dead lift up. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, next one is shoulders, because it's smaller muscle. We already worked all the big muscles. Let's do a hammer hold today. So we're gonna do palms out, so your palms are facing me. And you're gonna lift, good. And then you're gonna bring them to the front of the body, and lift to the front, shoulder height, with elbows soft, good. And then with the elbows bent, we're gonna go back into that deadlift, and fly, and release. Bring it back to your legs, bring it up, and let it turn out. Shoulders back, chest out, lift, pull the abs in, squeeze the bum. Ooh, now you got it, to the front, lift. Elbows soft and bend, shoulders back, chest out, lean forward, fly, and release. Bring it back to the legs, come back up, just like you do in your deadlift. Take the arms out, shoulders back, chest out, pull the abs in, lift, lower slowly. Come on, where's the control? <laughs> Here, to the front, lift, lower slowly. Where's your awareness? Is it in your dumbbells? Elbows out, bend forward, shoulders back, chest out, fly. Working on the upper back. Bring the weights back to your legs and then bring it up. Let's do it again twice more. Shoulders back, chest down, lift. Lower. Bring it to the front. Shoulders back, chest down, lift. Lower. That's better, that's better. Elbows out, deadlift position. Fly, work on those upper back muscles. Come back slowly. Bring it back to your legs. Come up and squeeze your bum. Realign for the very last one. Left. Slowly down. Feel it. Where's it coming from? That's better. And then to the front. Shoulders back, chest out, abs in. Slowly down. Feel it. Where's it coming from? Exactly. Your beautiful muscles. Good answer. Elbows out, shoulders back, chest out, bend forward. Fly. Release it. Slowly. Bring it back to the legs. Come on, back up. Release the dumbbells down. Woo! So those, those three sets take care of all of the rest of your muscles pretty well. Except for abs. You know, you got to work those individually. Speaking of abs, let's throw those in now. So we're going to start with the butterfly. This time, one minute. So shoulders back, chest out. Think about really opening up the chest because it's also a stretch. So tilt the bum back and then exhale, come forward. Pull those abs in like you mean it. If it's too much for you to have the arms up and you can't really focus on the abs, then you can put your hands on your abs, open your chest from here, then forward. So big deep breaths. We've got 30 seconds left to enjoy it. 
Let's feel each one, shall we? Open the chest. Pull the abs in on the exhale. Feel it. It feels good. Woo! Good job. Good job. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Take your time. Feel it. Big deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the side bend. So shoulders back, chest out, exhale over, inhale up, and then the other side, exhale over. So this one too, we're doing for a whole minute. Make sure you squeeze your bum and pull your abs in before going over. Yeah, so you stay nice and tall. There's like a torquing sometimes that occurs, like a twist, but we want to keep it tall and grounded in the feet in the pelvis and squeezing our bum to ensure that happens inhale up exhale over and stretch feel it it's nice isn't it big deep breath over that's it 10 more seconds enjoy each one good and again Fantastic. So now it's opposite hand to foot. Opposite hand to foot. Big deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale here. If you're doing it seated, same thing. You might as well enjoy it. Huh? Woo! Take your time with it. One whole minute here. We're about 30 seconds in. Big deep breaths. Reach, reach, reach. Reach. What if you could touch the ceiling right now? Huh? Oh, that's it. Reach. It's a stretch. It's a stretch as well as a spine and ab exercise. So let's feel it. Let's be in it. Trying to get that heat happening. Pulling the abs in as we exhale. Reach. Pull the abs in to bring the leg up. Woo! Almost there. Three, two, one, done. Woo! Good job, good job. All right, so instead of doing the first body weight set again, we only have about eight minutes. Let's do the second set with the weights. So we'll grab both our dumbbells, start with our squat, and we'll just see how far we can get. All right, we'll go for uh, seven more minutes. So we begin in a seated position. You can stay seated if you like, right? You can stay seated, squeeze your bum, pull the abs in, curl, and press, right? Always an option. Those are nice legs. That looks good. Good. And down. I like, I like your legs now. They're, they look really good. Press up, squeeze your bum, and curl and press from here is the other option. All right? But you do the one you want. It's set number two. No pressure. This is your workout. Have fun with it. Have fun. All right? Woo! Can you smile and do it? Then you're in the right place. Just squeeze your bum. Pull your abs in. Feel all the parts that you can feel in it. That's it. Woo! Come on now. We only have six minutes left. Let's really cherish it by squeezing our buttocks, by pulling our abs in. Come on now. Cherish it with me. Woo! That's it. A little too fast on that one. You can go slower on the next one. Go slower on the next one. That's all. That's all. And then you can squeeze your bum a little tighter. Roll those shoulders back. Woo! Feel it. Let's be in those dumbbells. Let's feel the strength. Oh, and squeeze our bum too. Yes. <laughs> two more. Two more. Okay, we're almost there. Squeeze, shoulders back, chest out, looking great, by the way. Looking great. Woo! Good, good, good. Okay, one more, but we're really not going to rush it, okay? Let's really, really focus. Pull all our attention into our bum and abs. Curl, press, and then really feel it coming down. This is our chance to feel it. 
to be in it. Yes. Squeeze your bum to release it even slower. Woo! Or just squeeze your bum's good too. Let's do two. All right, so deadlift row kickback. So shoulders are back, and again, you can choose to do it seated. Shoulders are back, chest is out, come down with your chest to maintain your neutral spine. Row, kick back. Bring it back, bring it down, come back up. You've got it, squeeze your bum. Bring it down, row it up, kick it back. Good, and down, and up. That's three, I think maybe two. Bring it down. Row it up. Feel your lats here. Pull the abs in. Kick it back. Back, down, and back. Bring it up. That's three. Squeeze the bum. Shoulders back. Chest out. Row it. Feel your lats. Kick it back. Feel the triceps. Bring it back to your lats. Bring it down. Bring it into your legs for hamstrings. Bring it up for glutes. Good. Number five here. We're halfway. Row it up. Kick it back. Bring it back, bring it down, bring it back to the legs, bring it back up. So with only five more to go, let's see if we can feel it that much more. Hamstrings here, feel it. Row up, feel your back here. Kick it back, feel the triceps. Feel your back again, middle back. Down, back to hamstrings, kick it back up for glutes. Four more. Down, row up. Kick back, release back, release down, in and up. Three more to go, that's it, only three more, only three more. Feel your feet, pull your abs in. Kick it back for the triceps, feel it. Down, back, and squeeze up. Two more, two more. Row up, kick back, bring it back. Down, back to the legs, back up for a nice squeeze. Good. Shoulders back, chest down, last one. Row, kick back, back, down, and back up. Very good, very good. So if you want to sit or stand, whatever you like, we got three minutes. We'll see how many of these we can get through. So lift to the side, squeeze your bum, pull your abs in, lift to the front. Good. And then if you're seated, bent over, bend your elbows, lift. Good. And then come back up. All the way back. Back to here. Shoulders back, chest out, abs in. Woo! Good. To the front. Good. Into the deadlift position. Elbows out, shoulders back, fly it out. Bring it back. Bring it back to the legs. Bring it all the way back up. Turn. Lift. Woo! To the front. Lift. To the side of the legs. Chest down. Elbows out. Fly. Woo! Bring it back. Fantastic. Let's do one more. One more. Lift. Slow this time. Slow. Oh, yes. Good, good, to the front, same thing, slow. Good. Into deadlift, elbows out. Fly it out slow. And then back. Bring it back up. Fantastic, fantastic. Woo! Good job, good job. So like I was telling you, I was just reading about stretches today and different aspects of stretches. So sometimes it's good to contract the muscle you're just about to stretch. So you put your hands together and kind of see if you can squeeze your chest, almost like you're squeezing your hands and you're squeezing your armpits. So you feel that? So from that, you're gonna open your arms and let your arms fly back as you kind of look up at the ceiling. Good. One more deep breath here. <sighs> Fantastic. Now release it and let's see if we can bring the arms up a little bit. Same thing. 
Allow them to press back. Good. One more deep breath. Good. Feel that stretch? Good job. Good job. Yes. Good, good. All right. So let's try the, the kind of same idea here. So we're going to make a fist and just try to pull the shoulder blade down. And then release the hand and allow the arm to go back. And then assist the elbow back. And see if we'll get you a little more space. Big deep breath. See if you can deepen it a little bit. Open your chest. One more. Those are nice. Those are nice. And then release the arm. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So reach up first. Make a fist. And squeeze your hand as you pull your shoulder blade down. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release it. Allow the arm to go back. Take your elbow and gently persuade it back. Try to open your chest from there. Yes. Looks good. Looks good. Woohoo! Very good. Very good. Fantastic. All right. Let's reach down behind us. So the idea is not to pull up, but to pull down, opening the chest. We're going to soften the knees and bend our chest forward. All the way down, all the way down, till we start to feel our hamstring. Relax your head down, but keep reaching back for two more deep breaths as you let your neck relax. Should start to feel the hamstrings. Now release the arms down and really let them down. Let them kind of waterfall down towards the ground. And allow your hips maybe to join in the action. Bend the knee, bend the other knee a little bit more. Really soften your position. Take one more deep breath here. Good. And then come up with the bend, bend your knees, sink your hips, and come up with big wide arms or hands behind your back, pulling your elbows up. There you go. <laughs> It'll always make sure that you have a nice spine coming back up. So let's do a nice calf stretch. So if we step away from the chair, way way back till we could hardly touch it at all so just your fingertips are on that chair and you bend your knees and kick your bum back your head should hang between the chair and you should get a nice back stretch now if you bend one knee and the other you'll get some deeper glute stretches and a little bit of a hamstring good and then we come back up and walk one foot forward. Now bend the front knee and keep the back leg straight, pressing the heel into, into the ground. So you should feel a stretch here. And the taller you get, the more you'll feel it. Like this kind of uh, diminishes the stretch. This increases it. Good, good. Yeah, now you feel it, yes? Woo! All right. Let's switch it. So back. You can take a moment to do like a downward dog type of thing. And then if you want, you come look up at your hands. Take the other foot forward. Bend the knee and press the hip forward till you feel your back heel. Get a stretch, your, your calf. And then come up. Or just come up touching the chair. That's fine too. Try to square the hip. You may feel it a little more. Yeah? Feels good, eh? Woo! Looks good, looks good. All right, let's do quad stretch real quick. And uh, we did a bit of a hamstring stretch, but if we have time, we'll revisit the hamstring. So remember, this stretch here is as much a chest stretch as it is a front thigh stretch. So we want to think about opening the chest using the hand that's holding the leg. So the leg is pressing into the hand to deepen the chest. And the knees come together, the hip presses forward. Do you feel that? It's pretty intense. Good. Two more deep breaths here. This is a really important stretch, actually, for your whole front body. And it contracts the back, right? Sometimes I mostly feel the contraction here as opposed to the stretch. I think just because I could 
I could deepen it by being on the floor probably. So again, open the chest with the leg, press the hip forward. Beautiful. Good. And then just work on that today maybe. Instead of focusing on balance, try to get the knees closer together or flex the foot or press the hip forward. Notice where you feel it. So we did our hamstring stretch today in our forward fold, but feel free to do more of them if you like. So that's all the time we have. So have a great day. Thank you so much. And of course, think about squeezing those abs, okay? All day today and tomorrow till I see you on Wednesday. Have a great day.